Hi, I'm Catherine, and I'm from Encosticos, and today I'm going to talk to you about the hot sticks and the 4x4 anodized aluminum printing plate and some mixed media application. Hot sticks are encaustic paint, and what that means is they are a wax-based paint. At room temperature, they're solid, and so in order to work with them, you have to heat them up on a hot pot. The way you do that is just by simply putting the hot stick directly on the hot pallet. And uh, I have mine set at somewhere around 170, 175 degrees Fahrenheit. This is a perfect working temperature for what we're going to be doing today. Uh, so once you've melted uh, the hot stick on your pallet, you dip your brush in. And you can see that once it comes off the heated surface, it cools off instantly. There's no drying time with the encaustic paints. If I want to thin out my paints or extend the paints, uh, I will use wax medium. And again, just apply it directly to the surface of your hot plate. And so if I want to dilute the pigment strength, I just use my wax medium and I get a little bit thinner pigment load. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to build up my surface, which by the way is an absorbent uh, ground and it's important that you're, um, that you're always working on an absorbent ground. So I'm just going to build up this surface uh, so that um, you can see a variety of different techniques. Uh, color mixing is going to be the same. Um, as with your other mediums. Um, using pottery tools, you can come in and scrape to reveal those under colors and you can even uh, use a much sharper implement to create a line and design. These are all different ways in which you can um, manipulate that surface so that you can see the brush stroke or uh, remove the brush stroke. And another thing about working the surface like this is that when I come in and do a collage element, which I'm going to do next, having a nice smooth surface to apply that collage element is going to really help me a lot. Uh, collage is a lot of fun. Um, you can use any type of, I recommend, especially if you're starting off with collage, starting off with a, a thinner paper. Um, but there's all sorts of really wonderful decorative papers. Lay it in the wax medium. You let the paper absorb. And in this way, you're basically putting wax to wax. And then a slight burnishing just to get out any kind of air bubbles. And then uh, it's always helpful to anchor that collage element with a coat of clear wax medium. To smooth that out further, you can just very, very lightly come over with your pottery tool just to scrape off any excess. And stenciling is another great way of adding surface texture and pattern. And then again, I like to just do a, a very light burnishing just so I have some pretty good contact of the stencil to the area in which I'm going to be applying my paint. And now I come over here and I uh, load up my paintbrush with plenty of wax and then just go over the openings and then gently peel away and you've created uh, one more level of interest on this encaustic piece. And what I'd like to show you here is just the application of some pastel. Uh, the pastel will actually adhere quite nice to the uh, wax paint. The key here is that you have to uh, seal that because otherwise you're just going to have a loose pastel 
on the surface of your encaustic work. So here I have my wax medium. I've melted uh, plenty of that just so I can load up my brush really nicely. And the wax medium again is a colorless paint film and it's just going to literally embed the pastel and secure it. So wax medium also serves as a top coat if you're interested in putting a final clear coat over your work. Uh, wax medium or the XD wax medium would be what you would use. And so when it cools off, when it comes off the palette, it gets uh, quite milky. And then as it cools off, it will uh, become clear again. And then your piece will be done. OK, so now I'm going to talk to you about the printmaking process. This is a 4x4 four four anodized aluminum printing plate. And I have it sitting on a piece of paper that I've got some lines so that I can uh, do some easy registration uh, so that I can go back and forth on my print. And so what we'll do is we'll start off with uh, just applying a nice stroke of color because this is hot, the hot stick is going to melt instantly and you can take these uh, great tools and create some pattern, instant pattern. <clears throat> and then taking something like a brayer and there's my first impression you can do one color at a time or if you uh, want to build up your image with multiple colors you can do that as well and just follow my lines And here you have, um, you know, the next step. So if I wanted to um, embellish that a little bit, maybe with some of the um, metallics, we have some great metallic paints. And so here you have an encaustic print. Again, this is on absorbent paper. Um, there's a variety of different printmaking papers that are well suited for this process. And to wipe off your plate, you just use paper towels and it's reusable.